Hi everybody, it's Malik again on his channel. You forgot your password and login to Windows is blocked. You cannot use a flash drive to reset your password because you did not make such a flash drive in advance. None of the password reset methods that you have already tried helped, and now you don't know what else you can do to gain access to your computer or laptop and not lose the personal files that you store on drive D. Look carefully, don't worry, repeat exactly after me step by step and we will succeed. Press and hold the shift key, and you will go, here, and you now need to restart your computer. Click, restart, while holding down the shift key. I'm still holding it, okay, now I just release the shift key up, once it restarted and now you're here in the system recovery options. Click, troubleshoot, then I will go to the, reset this PC, option to remove the password and gain access to the computer. In this window, you can select keep my files, but along with your personal files, your account information will be saved along with your forgotten password, and when you turn on the computer, you will see a lock screen with a forgotten password and again you will not be able to log into Windows. And to remove the password for logging into Windows, you must select remove everything, and then you will have access to the computer. In this window, we can choose to download files from the cloud or locally, I choose the local download of Windows 10 files. If you are going to give your computer to another person or you purchase this computer from another person, then you better select all drives, this option will allow you to completely wipe the computer without the possibility of restoring old data. But if you are doing this for yourself, and in addition to drive C, you also have drive D or other drives on the computer where you store personal files, then you need to select here, only the drive where Windows is installed. On my computer there is disk D with my personal data, and I click, only the drive where Windows is installed. In this window you can completely delete all data on all drives, but I need my data on drive D and I click, just delete my files. This page tells you what changes will happen to your computer as a result of this process. If you want to go back or change something in the settings, click, cancel, if you are ready to start the process, click, reset. The process of resetting your computer takes quite a long time, and if you are doing this on a laptop, please connect the laptop to a power source. And so, I click, reset, and the process of resetting the computer began. For a while you don't have to do anything and you can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. The computer will automatically restart several times. The installation of Windows is coming to an end and now we have to make some settings, choose your region. Now the keyboard layout. Skip. Here you need to accept the license terms. I will be using Windows for myself. Next. Here you need to enter your Microsoft account information. If you do not have a Microsoft account, click, create account, and then follow the instructions of the system until you register. To make a local account, click, here. In this window you need to enter your username. Next. You'll need to enter a password here, but I'll do that later. Next. Here I waive all proposed terms of confidentiality. Accept. The new Windows 10 welcomes us, there's not much left. Yes, I did it and now I have a brand new Windows 10 on my computer. Hope everything went well for you too. I click the start button. Then, settings. Then, accounts. And here we see that my computer is controlled by a local account, Malik, and I have administrator status. Let's see, how the activation of the new Windows went, I open the update and security section, activation tab. Yes, my Windows 10 Pro is activated using my digital license. Now we need to find out how my data was saved on drive, D. I open this PC in disk, D. 
Yes, here we see that only drive C was cleared of old data, and on drive D all my files were saved unchanged. And so, this method can get rid of the problems with a forgotten password and can save all personal files on disk D. Have a nice day everyone and see you again in my new videos. Good luck.